Hello, and welcome to this episode of No Resets. My name is Dwight. I don't know if I've been introducing myself in the last couple ones. It says it right there on the side. You know who player one is. That's me. Anyways, we're picking back up with Lethal Lava Land. Uh, we uh, fell to our deaths the last time when we were trying to get this specific star. Um, cool thing about this game is it remembers when you were in a place. Uh, I'd forgotten about that. Well, I didn't. I was. I knew that the pyramid would do that. Um, so let's fix this. You know, I probably should have just done this at the end of last week's episode. I'm still learning flows. I feel like, because I, I have a timer out <laughs> that shows... Oop, I ruined that. I have a timer out that shows... Um, that was embarrassing. The length of time that I've been recording for each one. So, for example, right now I've been re already recording for a minute. And that's a long time when you're trying to fill dead air with stuff. Um, so it's crazy that I'm already one minute into this episode while playing the games. Um, but anyway, so the last one was going a little long. It was already, I think, 38 minutes on my timer. So... I don't, I want to keep them to roughly 30 minutes, like a half an hour. Um, I just think that that'll be, I don't know, more digestible. I feel like the average, per I could probably cut them up into even shorter. The, I feel like the average person doesn't watch all of it even. Um, that's like a thing, isn't it? It's like why, like, Game Grumps and, uh... Other things of that nature don't, um, they do, like, really short episodes, and, um, the long stuff, which, you know, I like watching, but not everybody does. Okay, we made it. Boom. I know not everybody likes. I know not everybody likes the longer stuff. That's what she said. Um, so you know, give me a comment on that. Do you like the length of the episodes? Uh, would you like to see them longer, shorter? Um, I mean, I could do by going longer. It would probably be like an hour, but that just seems one ugh, a whole lot to be in front of a computer like watching gameplay. Um, yeah, maybe for the RPGs, that'd be something that'd be interesting. Um, might be something I have to do. Um, but, yeah, let me know if it'd be, if shorter, longer is interesting. I, mean, I don't know, I'm still, still figuring this out. I, it's weird, because at this point, this is episode six, so you've been sitting through, that you're coming up on your third hour of, of of this stuff, but this is only my second time recording it, and I'm gonna probably edit all of these, you know, tomorrow, and then queue them up. So, this is coming out in March, but it's still February right now, so... Yeah. Inside Baseball. I'm sure I'm not the only, you know, person. Oh, fuck. I beefed that. I'm sure I'm not the only person who, you know, make stuff in that. Speaking of uh, timeliness and news and whatnot, uh, Nintendo, on their last Nintendo Direct, just announced um, that Super Mario Maker 2 is coming out. Um, so I'm definitely going to be picking that up, and that's definitely something that I'm planning on playing. Um, so if you, uh, if and when that comes out, if you create any levels, you know, let me know. And um, I, will, I would love to go through people's content and people's levels. I can, you know, make a video for that. That would be super fun. Let's see, it's... Jumps like this. Where I love the shadow. Alright. We are done with Lethal Lava Land. Five minutes into the episode. Kaboom. I think. Let me just double check. Lethal Lava Land. Shifting Sand Land. So, Castle Secret Stars, about halfway done. I think there's 15 of those. Um, Bob on Battlefield's done. Womp's Fortress, done. Yeah, done. Jolly Roger Bay has one left. Cool Cool Mountain, done. Big Boo's Haunt, one left. 
I can go get it, but I think I'm going to hold off on those and do a kind of a cleanup. And so, lethal lava land done, shifting sand land done, so time to head on to... Hazy Maze Cave. This one I always thought was a little difficult. A little difficult. Swimming beast in the cavern. So after this, there really is no, um... Because this is the level where I get, um... Oh, Jesus. This is the level where I get embarrassed. <laughs> this is the level where you get the metal cap. So after this, there'll be nothing that, you know, is holding me back in any of the further... Level. So maybe once I get that, I'll, I'll immediately go and, and clean up those other two stars, just because it'd be weird leaving them hanging. Alright, much better. Ow. There's a YouTube video. I might link to it, just because I, I found it really interesting about how you can complete a um, one of the stars in this level with something called a half A press, which um, is weird because like, it's one of those things where you're like, well, how can you have press a half press a button? And it has to do with um, the up and down states of the buttons. I think if you're holding it, so when you press it, like that counts as like a 0.5 press, and then when you release it, that counts as the remaining part of the press. Um, so if you enter the level while holding jump, it, it only registers a half press for the entire level. And there's something with it's like, not screen wrapping, but like, the position of Mario has to, and it like, shifts into like, negative stuff. I'll, fuck it, I'll, I'll, I'll post to it. It's not, not worth it, um, to have me half-ass explain it. Um. But, it's, it's fascinating. And it has to do, like, it's, the level of, like, care. Am I supposed to go down? Yes, okay. The level of, like, care that people, or time and dedication that people put into, you know, figuring out all the little tricks and, and breaking this game, I think is a real testament to just how endearing and enduring this game is in general. This is, a uh, riveting. Oh, I messed that up. One. Two. <laughs> How comes the... I don't remember where all these are. Three... Oh, the others are actually up. That's right. Four. I gotta... Go up. I think. Maybe I should have stayed on that. But I'm pretty sure it's just over here. Pretty sure it's this. Up here, and then there's a whole another like this is on a on rails. Yeah. One of these again. You know. This 
is a riveting gameplay, I realize. Five. I think that something starts shooting like fireballs at you. This right here really feels like a precursor to, um... Oh, there's bats. It feels like a precursor to, to Galaxy. In a good way. Because in Galaxy, there was a lot of, um... Just, like, smaller... Bite-sized challenges that, that were on rails. All of that. I specifically remember doing a lot of them. In a good way. Galaxy 1 is a fantastic game, and Galaxy 2 is basically as good. There's arguments that say it's better, but Metalhead Mario can move. Okay, so we're already here. All right. Here comes the fun part. Where... All right, I know where I need to go to get the metal head, the metal cap. Which I believe is down here. Well, no, I'm pretty sure it's in with Nelly, Nessie. Nessie's something completely different. Oh, that hurt. Don't crush me, don't crush me, don't crush me. So I can't get that yet. Oh, whoa. <laughs> that was uh, pushing it. Okay, so maybe I'm supposed to ride it and it's in there? Or I thought it was behind. All right. I thought it was down here. It might not be. I might have just totally messed this up. What else would be new? Simple music, but effective. Really reminiscent of um, Super Mario World uh, cave underwater stuff. Mostly cave stuff. Not really underwater. All right, is it in here? Something's in here. Yeah, this is it. Oh, welcome to the metal course. Blah, blah, blah. When you turn your metal body into metal with the metal cap, you can walk underwater. Try it. Don't tell me what to do. Right, I feel like... Do I need to... Go with the metal cap for... No, okay. So you can get it. You don't have to. Well, maybe I shouldn't be underwater, though. Because, um... Oh. You pop out here. Ow. Those are like, they're not shy guys, were they sniffets? I think that's what that type of the bad guy type is called. Um, these crystals always reminded me of. Wow. Wow, that just weirdly unlocked a memory. Um, sorry, I'm gonna have to read this. You've just stepped on the metal cap switch. The metal cap makes Mario invincible. Now metal caps will pop out of all the green blocks. Yeah, green, you find. Yes, I'd like to save. Um, so, I mean, I got this game when I was young. Um, and one of the things I was into when I was young, still kind of am, uh, was Legos. And I really liked the underwater Legos. Uh, I think it was called like Aquazone or something like that. And it was all about these, um, there was underwater pirates and underwater like explorers. And one of the things that they would always, that the sets would come with were these like silver crystals. Um, and they were like always kept in these like special boxes. So like that was what the two factions were fighting over were these power crystals, underwater crystals things. And those, um, the metal Mario crystals in there and the metal Mario texture has always reminded me of that. And it's just weird because I, you know, 
isn't it weird how just something will trigger an immediate flood of memories and it's just as simple as looking at you know an image of something it's weird i guess that's how memory works but you know what i mean okay there was a metal cap here and this is important I remember this one being easy for me to time out on when I was younger, too. Okay. Yeah, look at that. I barely even made it. Okay, so... Keep these in mind. For when I'm trying to get 100 coins. Does that one give me? No. Okay. Whoo. Almost messed that one up. And not in a good way. I don't have Mario can move. Ugh. Oh, you know what? Just so I can move a little quicker and not get burned. Ah, look at that. Metal Mario looks like a... T-1000? The bad guy from Terminator 2. Okay, so navigating the cave. You know what? For posterity. So, where do they show up? All right. Not that way. Good to know. So. I feel like they showed up where I'm supposed to jump for this, like right here. Is this navigating the maze, though? I know there's two in the maze. I was making a big clunking noise the uh, when I was metal, which was pretty cool. Yeah, this is not navigating the maze. This is a totally different one. Note to self. Five coins up there. Maybe need to get it early. Move that. Oop. Thought I was going to land on it. That was... I don't think that was navigating the maze. That was probably, I think that was like Mario can hang or hanging Mario or amazing emergency exit. That's what it is. Close. But no cigarette. What's the last one? All right. Um. I'm gonna go ahead and go for the hundred coins now. Do bats give you coins? Yeah, find out now. Outside of that one, where there was three. Eh, you know what? I'm gonna go for it. Might as well do this early. And if it's not right, then I haven't lost, wasted too much of your time.
Oop. That sucked. Well, suck didn't suck. Or like, does this, is this? No, okay, so that's not timed. Pop up. Punch. Come here, Mr. Marble Spider. Don't be closed. Okay. Were there coins on that? There might have been. And if there was, I would be remiss to not get them. No. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Not too bad. 29. Making good time. I feel like in the later ones, the 100 coins really are on a more linear track. Um, I'm thinking of the second snow level and uh, the clock. A lot, some of them are. So like, it's really easy to get the 100 coins when you're going for like the final star or one of the stars, the one of the later ones, because um, you know, it just, I remember this one. Oh yeah, that's right. Other coins up here, where you know, the last star actually is. No, no. We'll come back for that. That one won't take long at all. So this one is the smarter. Oh shit, you're kidding me. Oh, you're kidding me. <laughs> oh. All right, um, I'm gonna go about this a different way. Since I found that other one, since I found that one I've forgotten about, we'll end over there. So that's not that big of a deal. Not that big of a deal. Hey, you're playing with me as I'm learning too. I don't like that Metal Mario gets hurt. I'm gonna do the six or the eight gold coin or eight eight red coins again. Catch me on the coin side. Drop my controller. Okay, forget it. If I need 12 additional coins, I'll come back to this room. As we have seen in these other ones, I have no needed nowhere near as much. Redoing it. That's a lot of coins. That'll add up. Did these give me coins? No. Don't want to get hurt. Don't want to get hurt. But I'm going to get hurt. Okay, we're back in it. We are back in it.
This is almost like, you know, it's supposed to be. This is like a game. Now. Weird how that works. Ugh. I hate this. Haze. Not so much the maze. Oh, I could have gone this way without getting hurt. And if I think, if I remember correctly, this is the exit with the star. No. Okay. So I don't know where the exit with the star is. Oh, why did I go that way? Ow. I legitimately do not remember where the real exit is. That's gonna be a fun one to, uh... A fun one to find. Okay. Whew. So, since I... I'm going to restart this fun level over and over and over and over and over again. I'm not going to show everything because... Gross. Um, I... Hope I don't mess this up right here. I think... That it would be in my best interest to just end this once I have finished the cave. Because I do not remember the exact number or the amount of time that I've spent on this. I don't think there's eight up here. I think there's six. So we're gonna have to make a risky jump when we get back to to the main cave. Which is, er, I'm not necessarily thrilled about. Maybe there is eight here. Oh. <sighs> that was crazy. And we are officially halfway done. Which is pretty great, I think. So even if... Whew, even if I die now, this run was at least worth it for something. Although I'm probably not going to die. I don't know how I would. That's mega tempting fate. Is this a map of the maze? Like, will this tell me where I need to go? No. It doesn't. Boop. Boop. Alrighty. Whew. Alright, let's finish up the maze. Or the cave. AKA the worst level. Navigating the toxic maze. I do like that this level gives you maps, even though. They're pixelated as shit, and I can't read them. I am there. So I wonder... Okay. So, we're gonna go in there. Alright, so if I go past that one... I feel like it was... It should be obvious. 
right? Like, okay, okay, so there's the two exits. Or three exits? Okay, so one's a regular, so that's the bad one. Okay, I think I remember now. I think it's just in the, like, I go to where that secret one is, go past it, and it should be right there? Even when I was younger, I remember finding the quote-unquote secret one before I found the regular one. Is it up here? Is that it? How is that different from a secret exit? Like, eh, maybe the other one's not secret. But it just... Because it was later, I felt like it was... In theory, it should be harder. Yeah, that was anticlimactic. Right there. Boom. Whew. Okay. Hazy Maze Cave. Cross that pain in my butt off the list. Jeez. Uh, alrighty. So, thank you very much for uh, watching this episode of uh, No Resets. Uh, once again, my name's been... Uh, my I've been Dwight. <clears throat> this has turned my brain to mush. Um, I hope you've enjoyed uh, watching it. I know I've been, for the most part, enjoying playing it. I think that's going to be the low point of, uh, of the run. That is the most amount of tempting fate I've ever done. But anyways, um, I look forward to uh, talking to you guys uh, in the next episode. I hope you're looking forward to it too. All right, thanks. Bye.